This is New York Living, the Arts Report. Most of us are familiar with the finished work of famous painters hanging in museums or galleries, but it's a rare opportunity to see work develop from beginning to end. New York One's Stephanie Simon takes us inside an artist's studio to see the process. Put a little outline of his head here. Following the artistic process is a difficult journey, even with a TV camera. But painter Phil Levine has developed a rapid approach to painting. So we joined him in the studio while he painted friend and fellow artist Stephen Clark. One of the things I've developed is speed. Not because I wanted to, but it's part of my nature. Levine makes his living as a painter and leading artist workshops. He says a painting that once took hours, he can now do in about one. Not because he's moving faster, but because he sees faster and with more clarity. I see orange in his head. See that big spot of orange on his forehead over here? I'm trying not to paint a nose. What I'm trying to do is paint the shape of the shadow. If I paint the shape of the shadow right, it'll be a nose. Levine lived in Colorado for 20 years and helped found an art students league there, but returned to his hometown of New York City 10 years ago. I was really starting to hate how pretty it was out there. I needed something more gritty. An artist must squint. If you, you squint at him and it simplifies, you see the shadows as big shapes. The faces of New York inspire him. And I would like nothing better than to paint all of them. Perhaps that's why several years ago he sharpened his speed by offering to do free portraits of people who would volunteer to sit for him. They had no experience modeling. They get antsy and move around, so I had to really paint them fast. But what do people who commission a portrait think of his fast approach? Every painting I do takes 20 years because that's how long I've been painting. Levine says he can be more deliberate in his figurative expressionism when it's called for. But no matter the velocity, there's always some insecurity followed by excitement. Look at that, this violent green it drives me nuts. In about an hour, he's finished. I think he did a really great job. I thought it was really strong, very masculine. Now the thing about sitting for a portrait is of course you can't move your mouth. So Phil has agreed to paint me for as long as I can sit here without talking. And in about 15 minutes, the impromptu portrait was complete. So green hair. Well, I saw more green than I put in. As I said, it's hard to get inside the mind of an artist. In Midtown, Stephanie Simon, New York One. This is a New York Living movie review. How do you define history, Mr. Rudge? I'm Neil Rosen. 